We begin with Nzioka Waita, who is running on a Chama Cha Uzalendo ticket. He, of course, was the former chief of staff at a state house and boasts a lustrous career in the corporate and legal fields. He joins us tonight with quite a manifesto that he launched just today with priorities in health, in education, and, of course, to deal with the very tough issue of water in the county of Machakos. Right, so we begin with your opening statements as to why you'd want to be governor of Machakos. We begin with you, Nzioka. Um, I've been to 40 wards, 400 meetings. I have met with several thousand residents of Machakos County, and I am now more convinced more than ever before that what they lack has been leadership good leadership, sound administration of the resources that the county has been blessed with. And that is my motivating factor. I want to serve the 1.4 million residents of Machakos and give them an opportunity to do a cost correction. The county has been going in the wrong direction and now there is an opportunity to make Machakos the number one county in Kenya and that is really my motivating factor. Labor tuanze na maswala ambayo ya nawazonga wananchi wa county ya Machakos. Kuna mambo kadha wa kadha ambao wale wananchi tumezungumza nao wametaja maswala ya ukosefu wa maji, maswala ya afya na maswala ya ujenzi wa miundo misingi. Labda nikianza na wewe bwana Waita, ni kipi ambacho utakipa kipaombele? Kitu kimoja ambacho kwa kwa wewe unahisi kinahitajika kufanya mara moja iwapo utaingia gosi taritisa. Ya kwanza ni kuhakikisha kwamba madawa inafikia mwananchi wa kawaida katika kila hospitali. Eh, kaunti ya Machako siko na hospitali kwa ujumla Um, za serikali kuna hospitali 180 kati ya hizo hospitali kuna level 4 ambazo ni kumi, kuna level 5 moja kuna level 5 tatu, e, 65 na kuna level 2 uh, moja na nane na katika hizo hospitali zote hakuna dawa na hakuna huduma kwa mwananchi wa kawaida kwa hivyo ile kitu tutafanya cha kwanza ni kuhakikisha kwamba madawa zinanunuliwa madaktari wetu wanalipwa wale wote ambao ni wafanyikazi katika sekta ya afya maswala yao ya ya, ya, ya ile la muhimu sana yanatekelezwa mapema ndio warudi katika kazi na wahudumie wananchi wa Machakos kwa sababu hiyo kitu ndio imebana wananchi wa Machakos sana let's dig a bit deeper into the issue of health When you look at the synergy between national and county government, um, oftentimes there's contention in terms of funding, and oftentimes you see the strikes that have hit the health sector. You alluded to that, uh, Nzioka. But also, um, the medical equipment scheme has been one that has been a huge issue. Many counties felt it was forced down their throats. It wasn't implemented well. Yeah. It's been now extended for three years. How would you implement that particular program, or do you feel it could be tweaked a bit to fit the needs of Machakos? Well, the, the managed equipment um, program, you know, primarily focuses on level four and level five mm. facilities. And um, what I would do differently is retention of funds at, uh, within the county. You have um, money that is collected at government or county government hospitals that is then put back into the exchequer and then distributed. It doesn't go back into the health service. We will focus on retaining minimum 10 to 15% of the county's uh, exchequer resources for the health service. That way we can pay for the diagnostic services offered through the managed equipment services. And number two, we can ensure that the services offered between level two up to level four are also at good quality because uh, people just want affordable health care and they want to go to the doctor and find him there and they want to go look for drugs and get affordable drugs and for us to keep those hospitals running for us to keep them clean for us to make sure that the workers are paid well we need to retain and ring fence money for health and keep it within the health sector and that's what we would do differently we would not put that money back in the pool so that it's getting taken to roads and it's taken to other things money for health will stay for health Ndam, ili uweze kutufafanulia zaidi kwa kwa wewe utakuwa unahakikisha kwamba uh, ile asilimia inayostahili uh, ya afya imeweka kiwango gani? Asilimia kati ya asilimia 10 na asilimia 15. 
kulingana na standards za WHO na na zingine. Naam, bwana Njio kwa umemsikia jinsi ambavyo DJ Maliti amesema na awali ulisema kuwa umezunguka katika wodi zote katika kaunti ya Machakos na akasema kuwa asilimia themanini ya visima ambavyo vimechimbwa vinafanya kazi. Wale ambao umezungumza nao wanakubaliana na hilo na kama kuna tatizo utalitatua kivipi? la hizo boho hiyo ni story tumepatiwa na lakini tumezoea sana kazi ya hizi kadi lakini na leo nimebeba manifesto yangu na katika kazi yetu hatuna guesswork tumepanga vile maji itafikia kila kona ya machakos ya kwanza tuko na Nzio can kindly turn your mic on i think it's off there we go sorry As I said, there is no guesswork in uh, in our business. We have our manifesto here. The details are provided uh, in in quite uh, in quite a detailed format. Three ways. Uh, one is bulk water infrastructure. For Mavoko, there is the Belgian water project coming from the Northern Collector water. Our first mission is to reticulate that water to serve all the way until uh, Modwani. Mshokimao um, Mlolongo at river and make sure that water serves that population there. The second is bulk water infrastructure from the Kilimanjaro water pipeline. This water comes from Nolturesh in uh, Loitoktok. This water will serve the people of Konza, Malili, Machakos town up until Kadiani. Um, the third water source will be what we are calling the Masinga Express, which is a new pipeline of water that will serve Masinga to Yata and to Mwala. That will be bulk water source. In terms of localized water solutions, we have the big dams in, uh, in Kadiani. They have Mwone Dam, which is now full of silt. If we can desilt Mwone Dam, it will immediately go into service to serve the people of Kadiani. In Matungulu, we have the Ngangalia Dam, the Ngangalia water hole, I mean, uh, water borehole, which is the highest yielding yielding borehole in Lower Eastern. We will make sure that water reticulates and gets to serve the people. Um, we have distribution of boreholes because we have to audit. According to Maliti, they have done 17 boreholes per, per ward. Those 17 boreholes, nobody can see them. And I'm sure none of my competitors here have seen those boreholes except Maliti. Because in the villages, it is clear that there is no water. Yeah. And we will make sure that water gets to the ordinary citizen by auditing the boreholes, making sure those that have good yield, we distribute. We will not do any guesswork. Okay because it seems that these boreholes were drilled with a, a, a lot of guesswork, and we will make sure that there is no guesswork. <coughs> we will make sure water treatment. The issue of Ati River is not just a small issue. Okay. As Senator Mudama says, it is an existential threat Your for the Kamba Nation. Okay. Yeah. Kabla ya kuangazia maswali hayo kwenye mitandao, hebu tuangazie wale ambao wako mjini Machakos wanasemaji, wanataka ni nini ambacho kipewe kipaumbele na yule ambacho taingia ifika puagusi taretisa. Napeleka mtoto hospitalini, unambiu wende ununue dawa, ununue gloves, na tunashanga. Kwani hizi hospitali zetu, kwanini hazina vile vifa. Tunomba sana ashugulikie jambo la hospitali. I want to see a recovery plan for all what we have lost. And a recovery plan for the lost time. We have so many incomplete projects. Imeanzishwa, imefika mahali, imeajwa, so many. I want to see a governor uh, who, who knows them and where they have reached. Tumekua tukipata basari ya 800,000 per ward. Na ukiangalia kama Matungulu East, liko na sub-location sita. Kigawanisha unapata kila ward, inapata elf miyamoja na taradini, na kuna watu wengi sana. So naomba governor mwenye anakuja, mwenye tunachagua watu wa machakos. Angalie sana mambo ya masomo education. Maji imekuwa ni ishu, tuliambua tutaoga na shawa, hata mfereji bado ijatua shawa. So sayi kitu nitaomba the incoming governors, if utatuletea maji ikuwe ni maji ya kutuletea vizuri usitueleze maji na mwisho uanze kutuambia oo oh, ilienda ikawa unapata kwa na, na biashara kama kuna biashara unjakata license unapata unasumbuliwa hiyo biashara na askari na unapata kukata hiyo license unapata hiyo pesa iko juu upande wa barabara zote zimeharibika zingine uwezi ukapita hata kukinyesha tunongeomba governor kule atakapochaguliwa na wananchi kwa machaka wasikaundi aturekebishie barabara serikali yenye imekuwa imekuwa hapo imetenga wana wanarika sana mambo ya sports hakuna kitu imekuwa ikiendelea wamejenga viwanja lakini hawajaweza kumalizia kwa hiyo tunaweza sema mambo ya corruption imeingilia sana kwa ministry ya sports 
All right, so those are the voices of uh, some of the residents that you seek to represent uh, come August 9th. Let me begin with you, Nzioka, in terms of you've heard some of their concerns. What would you want to address um, once you come in, if you come into the governor position? In terms of what they have said there? In terms or of what generally? they have said. I think the, the people of Machako should look at me differently. Number one, I'm not a politician. And I don't have political biases. And I'm prepared to work across the board with all leaders, irrespective of what parties and what platforms they get elected with. Because a governor is not a one-man show. He must work with all the leaders right up until the grassroots. Number two is that my integrity speaks for itself. I have no scandals. I have no cases. I have no mentions with any court process, any judicial process, anything whatsoever. Number three, my delivery record speaks for itself. I have sat and administered government projects at the highest level and successfully delivered for the president the most aggressive infrastructure program ever seen in this country since uh, independence. So when the people of Machako say that they want their roads improved, they want their business environment improved, they want young people's welfare improved, this is the administration that will be able to do it, Nzioka Waita and Florence Mwangangi. Um, we have put a lot of emphasis in terms of an equitable government, one that shows the representation of women across the board, one that shows the representation of the elderly, the youth, and persons living with disabilities. So I, I firmly believe, uh, Victoria, that this administration speaks to the hearts of, of, of Machakos people. The outgoing administration has shown itself to be incompetent and corrupt, which is why we still have these issues 10 years later after devolution. Machakos produces 3% of Kenya's GDP, 300 billion shillings, but yet we are ranked almost at the bottom in terms of our performance, our own source revenue collection is, is pathetic, our pending bills is the fifth highest in, in the republic. No. So there, there is a lot to be said. 